the crowd. And he's seen that performance. And I'm pretty sure he is licking his chops. And he knows, and Canelo knows, that he can beat him. Benavidez was looking at him like a full court in the crowd. I guarantee you, after this fight, Benavidez gonna talk his shit. And then I motherfucking, you show sure enough right he's supposed to. Come on, Gil, I salute you. I picked you, but nigga, at least you didn't get knocked out. And man, you did your thing, but Benavidez will beat the shit out of Canelo. Do you hear me? Hell, I think David Morrell will beat the shit out of him. Do you hear me? I wish we can have a Bevo rematch part two, because he'll beat the shit out of Canelo again. Do you hear me? I'm talking about this a whole bunch of motherfuckers that'll go out there and whoop his ass. Do you hear me? You got me starting to think Terrence Crawford can come up to that motherfucking and beat his ass too. Do you hear me? I'm talking about Canelo was doing this thing tonight, but Munguia was definitely handling his business. Do you hear me, man? I'm talking about, do you hear me? And it's the eye test, of course, you know, we can't use triangle theories and all that shit. But y'all niggas do it. Yeah, y'all say certain boxers knock anybody out, no matter who they fight. So let me do what I want to do. Let me do my thing like James Brown. I want to know if I can do my thing and say what the fuck I want to say tonight. You understand me? I want to know how much Clint Buterall that man was on. Yeah, y'all want to know how much Ryan was on. I want to know how much Clint because they raised the level. Yeah, yeah, they raised the level. So how can we really judge this performance? You understand me? Because I don't know if you took a whole bunch of Clint Buterall or you took none. I don't know. Once a drug cheat, always a drug cheat. And my timestamp shows, uh, I want to, since I got five people on here, I want to tell my business. Now, I used to talk shit about Tank Davis, right, when I was in prison, because I used to see all these fights. You know, we watch all sports in prison, nigga. We gamble on anything. I don't give a fuck if it's hockey, if it, nigga, if the baseball season here, we betting on that. So now I watch all the fights. I watch all the fights, right? And I was like, man, he ain't fighting nobody, though, man. He knocking niggas out, but he ain't fighting nobody, right? So I was looking for YouTube channel. You know, we had cell phones and you know we get our shit. So I'm looking for YouTube channel. I finally found a YouTube channel that was thinking critical like me. Because I'm always analyzing, right? And the nigga was real critical against Tank. He's a big YouTuber right now, right? But he was really, really critical on Tank. And they made him apologize and everything. He used to be talking all kind of shit. And I, I remember that video, but then he started talking crazy and shit, like he was just really hating and shit, right? So I just stopped listening to him for a while. Then I got out in 2019, you know, I got me a new phone, you know what I'm saying? So I started going back, subscribing to all my old, you know, getting my old channels and shit. And I went back and I couldn't find that video no more. So man, y'all big YouTube channels done started dick riding on Tank Davis so hard, y'all starting to delete your motherfucking videos. Because I done started the timestamp show. Now, I done told y'all, I'm going to get you. You can't run from me. Because new timestamps are being created every day. So don't think that since you switched a long time ago and deleted your, your videos, bro, that it ain't going to happen again. Because the, the, the trend always remains. Once you flow, you always flow. I don't care if you was a young flow ass nigga. When you get 80 to 90 years old, you just going to be a flow ass old motherfucker. You don't turn into no grumpy old man. You always been grumpy and flow. And God damn it, I done seen it. And I ain't seeing it now. I searched all the way to the bottom of your list. It was one of them old videos. I can't find it no more. And I wonder why you deleted that because you getting a lot of Super chats and pa hit my like, hit my subscribe, get me up to a thousand to a million subscribers. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, as soon as something else happened and another wave happened and another trend happened, they going to jump right on it and ride it to the top. It's not popular to make videos telling the truth. That's why the name of this channel is Rude Exposure, because in 2024, it is rude 
to tell the truth. I can't even call Lizzo fat in the comment sections without them spamming me. I can't say shit about Beyonce without them beehive bitches getting on me. I can't tell no hood red bitch that I want to see you without your weave on, without her getting mad at me. I can't tell nobody nothing no more. So I created a channel where I can voice my opinion. My opinion matters. Your opinion matters too, just not more than mine. And your opinion matters more than what I think about what you think. And I'm not going to sit here and debate about what you think because I ain't trying to change your mind. This is my diary. And what I feel is what I feel. Now you can collaborate with me or you can hate me. I don't give a fuck. Canelo is a drug cheat. Alicia Baumgartner was a drug cheat. Ryan Garcia a drug cheat. Roy Jones drug cheat. Jake Lamar a drug cheat. Niggas been fighting against drug cheats. Since the beginning of time. This ain't nothing new. Y'all acting like this some new shit. Y'all acting like Ryan Garcia uh, just popping. That's some new shit. Tyson Fury. Oh, yeah. He, these motherfuckers been popping. We know Canelo been popping. And they still want to fight him. They still love him. You seen the packed crowd? Everybody came out. All the stars came to see the drug cheat. So what the fuck you niggas want to do if they don't do shit about Ryan Garcia? You can't change nothing. You can't change people for loving who they love. You mad because he done got popped dirty and he done beat the shit out of Devin Haney. It happened. The ass whipping will be there forever. There's nothing you can do. He's added to the highlight reel whether he popped dirty or not. So you wishing they can get the, the, the loss off the record? Cool. Take the loss off the record. What is going to stop? You still got hit with the left hook in the first round. And if the referee wouldn't have taken the point away from Ryan Garcia, you might have died in the ring. So when y'all talking shit about the ref, I was talking shit about the ref too, but maybe he did it as an angel. My granny, God bless the dead, always said, be careful who you talk to and who you treat bad because they might be an angel. You think it ain't no angels on earth? But you believe in God? How can you believe in God and not believe in the devil? I don't care what you call him, but he's there. You think you the greatest? Let God do his job, man. Whatever Ryan doing is good for boxing. Because everybody's making videos and everybody's getting content off of it. And everybody's talking about him. And he's doing this and he's doing that. What? Fuck, what? Ain't nobody talking about you. Don't you wish you can switch positions? And be the infamous motherfucker that has millions and millions of dollars that cheated and beat the shit out of Devin Haney? You say no, but I guarantee you, if you can snap your fingers, you would. This motherfucker's funny. Bill Haney is funny. I laugh at these type of characters. You guys get in your feelings and get emotional. It's crazy. You niggas laugh. You niggas get mad because Tank Davis won't fight nobody. You niggas mad because Terrence Crawford don't want to fight Boots Ennis. Y'all mad. In emotional. I'm sorry.